World building is one of the fundamentals while creating a story. And some authors nailed it. If you don't create any story, don't worry, it's not a problem. There won't be much technical stuff so everyone can learn what makes a great story great. But I'm a writer, which means I can write anything. What are you gonna do? She spat it out like a venom. Clanking chains that hold her in the center of the room. Guards acted like no one even came to the cell. Person who caused the prisoner reaction went closer to her. He lowered his pants and pulled out his enormous gigantic D. Hey champ, what you doing? The great hero sword, worth only the true hero. <sighs> that was close. I won't get too detailed but there's two types of world building. Soft world building and hard world building. Soft is more about showing what you need to know and hard is about showing everything. Someday I will make video about it. But right now what matters is that Mushoku Tensei is an example of hard world building. So what makes Mushoku Tensei such a great story? Characters, sound, plot, world building. I mean their combination. But for sake of this video, let's say it's a world building. So what's so great about world building in Mushoku Tensei? There is a lot, great landscapes, wonderful palette of race and beautiful visuals and descriptions of magic. Magic. No matter how much I want to talk only about world building, I can do that without saying anything about plot. Because world in this story is not just a place of action. It's a great complement to the story. It's not the same as in other isekais, like in that time when I got reincarnated as a slime and I'm running out of breath. In that it didn't really matter whether or not Rimuru was in the cave, it could be a dungeon and story would be the same. In the other hand, if Rudy was in the place he was, story wouldn't be the same. Rudy is character with internal problems that he has to overcome in order to grow as a person. You see, that's why I can't talk about world building without saying anything about plot. Otherwise it end up like visiting an art museum. Huh? I really don't get this modern art. Sir, it's a wall. In order for Rudy to overcome his problems, he needs a safe space. And house with a garden was perfect for that. Small space separate from the other world was exactly what he needed. It's in the countryside, surrounded by fields. Avoiding this city is a perfect environment for him. Even when he got first breakthrough, he's changing closed safe space to open safe space. But that's not the end of times when world building accompanies storytelling. Like the time when he gets his first job. Big change and big challenge. In that time, world around him is changing as well. From open, colorful landscapes, we change to grey, narrow and dangerous alleys of the city. Of course, not always it's that much meaningful. Sometimes danger comes mainly because of the change of the environment. But even in those moments, landscapes are breathtaking. But Demon Continent isn't just example of how great background artists they hired. As I said, world building is about creating a consistent world that follows their own rules. It was said that Demon Continent is dangerous, but we can easily forget about it because Rudy and Ares teamed up with Roger. But we got a reminder of these rules when he stumbled on Rudy's father. There is a lot of things to talk about like other races that speak in their own languages. And in order to understand them, our MC has to learn their languages. Not like in other isekais where Japanese seems to be a common language. But about race. We got elves, demons, gods, whatever the hell this is and cat girls, but they do not say nya so our dreams are crushed this time. Anyway, magic is great. Not only the way it's shown is wonderful, but the way it's described how magic books lies in some places and how it's possible to learn art of casting without incantation and the fact that Sylphie was able to learn it as Rudy is really interesting. Especially because we're talking about hard world building. This star requires much more planning in order to create something good. For example, slime anime has a lot of geopolitics and a lot of world mechanics explained. But sometimes it's too overwhelming. Like spending 3 episodes talking about what they gonna do in the next battle. But don't get me wrong, I know I said Mushoku Tensei is a great story and I criticize slime. But me saying that story is great doesn't mean I like plot or characters. This means world is consistent and I found little to know 
cheap writing. Like that scene from Charlotte, it's so much cheap writing. The situation has no reason to end up in the way it ends, other than we need trauma for main character, so we can be more emotionally investigated in the story. Most of their anime is just cheap writing combined with absurd humor. I'm starting to find similarities with my channel. To be honest, I probably even like more slime anime in terms of story than Mushoku Tensei. But I enjoyed both of them and I got a bit of track, sorry. Last thing I want to say is about that one meeting in the mountains. First we got introduced to mountains themselves, grey, cold and full of danger. We can see red dragons characteristic for that special region. Of the continent but what's really important is that not long after we met him or the dragon god and that's interesting part because we don't get much of any explanation about it and i know i said world building is about saying everything but hard world building doesn't mean you can't have mystery in your story you can leave something untold to your reader or viewer it just still have to be in rules of your wars i think i said enough about world building Tensei. Of course there is much more what you can say about this world. For example you can find whole videos talking about which part of light novels were skipped while making some episodes. But I haven't read it yet so it's all what I can say right now. I'll definitely make more videos about creating story, characters and world building. But till this time remember Roxy is the best girl and see you next time. Janne.